everyone and happy October! Where the heck did this month go guys? Halloween is in like three days and I'm gonna let you in on my costume because I think it's super fun. I am going to be Merida from Brave so be sure you are following me on Instagram to see the whole entire costume in its entirety guys. I went all out this year. I got the wig, I got the dress, I got the bow and arrow. It's gonna be so much fun. So since I'm curious please leave me what you guys are gonna be for Halloween down in the comments below. I would absolutely love to know what you guys are gonna be I just think that's so much fun but today we are obviously doing my October faves and fails this time around I don't normally put fails in favorites videos and I really don't talk about fails a whole lot on this channel so I had quite a few this month that I thought I would just go ahead and throw into this video so let's get started I want to start with my favorites though because these two nail polishes have been my favorite for the entire month and I'm so glad I finally broke out these fall shades they really got me back into painting my nails before this month I really never painted them because nail polish has a really hard time staying on my nails, let's be honest. But these two have had great staying power along with my next favorite which you guys will hear about in a second. But I have posted all about these on Instagram if you want to see them both on. But starting with the one that I am wearing for you guys today, this is OPI's You're So Euro. So I guess it's from like a European collection, I don't know. It's just this beautiful dark deep navy shade and I feel like maybe there's just like a tiny bit of purple in there. But on the nails, it is deep and dark, and that's something that's totally different for me. I'm not one to wear black nail polish a lot, so I love having dark colors with kind of a little bit of an undertone of color in there. And as you can tell, it's kind of the trend because this next one is a dark green. This is from the Nuance brand, and I found this at CVS a while ago, and I've seen it in a ton of CVSs since, but I just like the packaging. I think it's so cute. But this shade in particular is Prickly Pear, and I think that's like the cutest name ever. Like I said, I do have this on in a photo on Instagram if you want to see it, but it's kind of along the same lines as this navy. This one might not be as deep and dark though, but in the light, oh my gosh, it's just like this beautiful deep green that I can't get enough of. Moving along to the top coat that I've been loving with those, this is I think my favorite top coat of all time. So thank you guys for letting me know to get it and try it because oh my gosh, I'm in love. So this is the C&D Vinylux Weekly Top Coat, and this is a newer brand to hit stores around me and from what I've heard it's a professional brand that really just professionals could get up until now so I don't know why they brought it to stores but I do find it admire. Unfortunately I have a polish in my fails side of things which I'm extremely sad about but as far as this goes this one takes the cake for sure. How many of you have freshly painted your nails at night and you go to bed and you wake up the next morning with the texture of your sheets imprinted on your nails? That just irks me to death so when I try to this guys oh my gosh this stuff dries incredibly fast I'm talking like in 10 minutes your nails are completely dry and I just don't even have to worry about them anymore plus it is so incredibly shiny and from your guys's recommendation I did pick this up and a lot of you are saying that it doesn't get real gummy like the sachet beat one does so a lot of you prefer this over sachet beat so if you haven't given this a try I definitely think you should moving on to this tiny little baby skincare item this is the Aveeno positive Radiant Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I have been so in love with this stuff over this past month. I've probably used it for about two weeks and this entire thing is gone and I actually made it a point in my mind to go pick a full size one of these up to show you in this video but I never got around to it. I'm sorry. I do have experience with Aveeno in the past though. I used to use Aveeno moisturizer religiously every single day probably about two or three years ago and I just got off the bandwagon I think because I found my favorite CeraVe one until I realized it didn't have broad spectrum protection. I also used a Polish Choice one that was just a little too heavy so with this one I was totally happy because it's moisturizing without being like sunscreeny heavy if that makes sense and I don't have to worry about a white cast when I'm working it into my skin. Moving on to my one makeup favorite of the month. This is the Sephora Collection Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in Parfait and oh my gosh guys this was such a pleasant surprise. I have been so happy with the way this stuff blends out on my skin. The coverage when used really anywhere to cover redness, blemishes, even my under eye area, I feel like the coverage is just amazing and the formula does really well. It's not super heavy or super cakey so it definitely has a lot of moisture in there. The other thing I love about this is applying it with the doe foot applicator. I just find this so incredibly easy. The only bad thing I'm going to say here is that for whatever reason this little tip doesn't hold a lot of product so I keep having to go back into it like four or five times if I'm doing my whole face. But if you're like me and 
haven't tried a lot from the Sephora brand and you need a concealer, I would definitely say go for it. I mean, heck, you can return it if you don't like it. Oh, and really quick before I forget, I did want to mention two of my favorite YouTubers from the month. And these are two girls, one that I kind of personally know, one that I don't, but two of the best channels I've come across in a long time. The first one I want to tell you about is Fancy That with Candice. And I came across her channel, uh, gosh, a couple months ago or maybe even at the beginning of this month. But she is the sweetest, most bubbly person I think I've ever met. And the quality of her videos is just gorgeous. Ever since finding her, I've had to go through and watch so many of her videos. Seriously, I love her reviews, her first impressions, and some of her reactions to things are just so darn hilarious. Her videos always put me in such a great mood. So tell Candice that I sent you if you go show her some love. Her link will be down below. But the other channel that I've been loving this month has been Stepanka. Now she is a more story time video channel and I have fallen in love with her story time videos. I swear, I didn't even know I liked story time videos that much until coming across her channel. She tells everything so well. She has such an interesting, kind of like well-rounded life. I feel like she's been through it all and some of her stuff is so hilarious and entertaining I can't stop watching her videos. So getting on to the fails part of this video, I might as well tell you guys about this nail polish first because I think out of all three of my fails, this was the most disappointing. So this is the same brand as that top coat I talked about. So this is the CND Vinylux Weekly Polish in this shade, this beautiful deep metallic berry color is in Tango Passion. Now let me just tell you a little story because I was over the moon excited to try this polish. Is that a thing? Over the moon excited? We're gonna make it a thing. You guys had told me so many great things about it on Instagram and honestly from everybody I was hearing about this brand from, it was just like incredible and life changing. So you best believe I ran out to my Meyer the next day and I picked up this color. I will say they didn't have a ton of colors to choose from, but anyway, that's like a side note. Getting onto the application of this, I posted about it on my Facebook page because application of this stuff was the best application of nail polish I've ever had in my entire life. It beat out OPI in Essie times 10. And keep in mind, this stuff is more expensive. It's about 10 50 I think, a bottle compared to Essie and OPI, which is like eight or nine. And I was totally sold. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy everything in this line. I'm going to pay a little bit more money because if this stuff goes on so beautifully, so opaque, so, so smooth and stays on, I'll be sold. But unfortunately, that last Last part didn't happen. I went to work the next day. I usually paint my nails at night. So that next day I went to work and I was doing some paperwork and I looked down and even though it was the tiniest chip ever, I had a chip and I had probably had this stuff on for no more than 10 hours and probably like five to eight of those I was sleeping. I'm still kind of on the fence because I do attribute that maybe, maybe I'm just making up excuses in my mind, but because this is more on the metallic side, I feel like those, especially on my nails in the past, have chipped pretty darn quickly. So I still do wanna go try maybe a creamy formula or just something else from the line just to make sure it's not just this one in general. But honestly, I feel like if it's supposed to be a great line, every single color should last on my nails. So this was a huge, huge fail and letdown for me this month, but I definitely would say did not pass it up if you guys see it in stores because from what I've been hearing from all of you and everything, I feel like this works for a lot of people. So maybe it just didn't work for me. My next fail of the month is the newest Maybelline mascara and I feel like a lot of girls are not liking this stuff, but this is the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and it just did nothing for my lashes but clumped them together. I used this right before I got my lash extensions and guys, this brush, first of all, I don't love a plastic bristled brush. I feel like I poke my eyes out a lot of the times and I just feel like the bristles don't work super well with my lashes. And with this brush, the brushes or like the tiny little points on it are so darn small. I don't know how this can create any separation. As far as the formula goes, I thought the formula looked really nice. You can tell it's a little bit moussey and on the thicker side of things. And I kind of like drier mascaras. So I was really intrigued as far as that part of it. But with that brush it just did absolutely nothing and I felt like I was scraping my eye as I was applying it so I feel like I'm not alone which is awesome but this was definitely a fail for me and my last fail of the month was my smile brilliant kit and I wanted to update you guys in this video on my whole entire journey revolving around this because I know I did post about it on Instagram and some of you might be wondering what I thought about it so since you guys haven't seen a review obviously you can probably tell that this stuff did not work for me and I'm not saying anything bad about the product or the company in general 
little. It really just came down to my teeth being super sensitive. If you guys aren't familiar with this, they send them to a lot of YouTubers for a review and you get all of this crazy stuff in here where you actually mix together your own trays and you send them in and you get customized ones, which was super, super cool. Honestly, guys, I was so excited to do this review and to just give this stuff a try. So I did send in my little molds and I got my little teeth trays that are just, they fit my teeth perfectly. But as soon as I went to apply the gel, my teeth were just super uncomfortable. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this did not end up working for me. The customer service and the company in general was amazing, but unfortunately it just didn't work with my set of teeth. I really hope you guys enjoyed my October faves and fails video. And if you guys want to see me include more fails in future monthly favorites, then just give this a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the products I mentioned today or where you can find me on social media, everything like that will be listed down in the description box for you guys. And also please let me know what you've been loving and hating for the month of October. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great and safe Halloween. Make sure to eat lots of candy because I know I will. So have a great day guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.